How's it going everyone? This is my Canon R8. I've had this for about a month now and I'm absolutely loving the camera. I've got the 35 millimeter lens on here and I did pick up the small rig cage for it and I've had the cage on my camera for about a week or so. I've taken it off for this video so I can show you how it installs but I am absolutely loving the cage. It's been so, so good since I've had it. So let's have a look at it. So pretty standard cage that we have right here. We have full access to the battery from down below and it does screw in. There is two little pieces on the side that we can use to screw it in. So let's go ahead and do so. It screws right into these little hooks right here where you would hook your strap in. So you can leave your lens on when you install it. You just want to just remove these little pieces right here on the side. You can see the other one was just loose there and it fell right out. And then we'll just install the camera just right there. And if we actually look underneath the small rig cage. There is this little tool that they include for you. So we'll just take that little tool out and we'll use that to install the cage. So we're gonna go ahead and just take this piece and just slip it right in here and just get it so that it aligns up. There we go, that's all aligned right there. Actually just screw this one in a little bit first. All right, so we've left that a little bit loose and then we'll go to the other side right here and we'll just slip this one in just right there and that locks in there nicely and then we'll just screw this one in actually now fully. Nice and tight and then we'll go to the other side and we'll screw that one in. And that's nice and tight now as well. And then we can go on to the bottom itself. And because these are both aligned, you're gonna have no problem screwing in your bottom screw, which screws right into the base of the camera. So let's go ahead and just use the same tool. So it's a really, really handy tool that they've included here. And that just screws in and we'll just make it nice and tight right there. And then we'll put our little tool just right back into that position, just right on the bottom right there. And then you can see this is just solid when it's on there. So you can see it does not move at all provides great protection for your camera, and then also gives you that extra cold shoe right there. All the different slots and stuff that you can screw different things on. You can see right here on the side, we have full access to everything. The swivel screen comes out no problems whatsoever. The other thing that is that battery right here, you can see they've got that this little piece right here will just kind of not get in the way. So that's one thing that some of the cages that they make, that little piece right there will get into the way. You can see it just perfectly is aligned right here for it. So Small Rig has thought of everything on this one. You can see on that side as well, all the different bits and pieces. So I absolutely love this thing. I did get another attachment for it. It is the Small Rig handle, and I'm gonna quickly install that and show you how that looks as well. And there we go. Now we've got the small rig handle installed on it to our cage right here. And this is just super handy because you can hold your camera nicely. And when you walk around, you're not putting any pressure on your camera itself. It's just going right onto the cage and it's just super strong and sturdy. We have the extra cold shoe space in there. There's an extra port right there, which you can screw something else into. So lots of different options to make your rig and that's what it looks like. But I highly recommend this cage. It is amazing.